Hey YouTube, this is Karsten's XDM45 here, and I'm giving an update on my hunting bike. Uh, this is my, if you follow my, my other videos, uh, this is my Rad Rover that I purchased here a couple months ago, and I'm trying to get it outfitted to go hunting. All I've got is public land. Of course, you know the story about public land, and so uh, I'm trying to get it ready to go so I can get deep in the woods. I've already taken it to a couple different public land areas and have uh, gone the trails and believe me this this bike will will get you deep into the woods just want to kind of show you a couple things that I've added since then and I've also got the uh, game cart put together um, but of course I've got the I've got the bags here uh, these are just uh, Magellan bags that I bought from I bought last year from Academy basically they're just duck hunting bags and I've got I've got those uh, put on my my bike rack here with some tie wraps uh, but the thing I thing I, also, I, I had to do is Before I got the fenders these bags were hanging down there rubbing the tire And so if you can look right here If you can look right here, I found, uh, I found me a grate out of an old uh, Toaster oven and chopped it up and was able to actually put this on both sides I was able to actually put this on both sides and what that does See there's the other one What that does is that keeps these bags from rubbing the tire. Of course, then they finally, Rad Rover finally got the fenders in, and I bought me a, uh, some fenders. And believe me, you'll need this if you're riding these fenders. If you're riding in the water, mud, um, you know, even if I don't go on real muddy trails, uh, I'm, I am riding this thing for exercise. I've got almost 300 miles on it now, almost. Um, and when you're going down the street, if the roads are wet, believe me, without the fenders, you're going to get a face full of spray. So, did get me a brain bucket and a pair of, sun, pair of uh, safety glasses. Um, I got hit in, a, hit in the eyeball by, a, I guess, a June bug or something here a while back. And so, yeah, get the safety glasses. So, that's going to be the bike. That's the power, the powerhouse. I'll be able to put extra stuff uh, in here. And then we're going to swing over here. I've got the game cart and I got it today. Got it put together today. This is a they call it the uh, kill shot and it's supposed to be 500 pounds uh, I'm gonna use this for, for game and I'm gonna also use it for hauling and equipment so what I did is I took uh, we used to call this chicken wire or uh, uh, cage wire whatever you want to call it I don't care uh, but I cut it to cut it to fit on the inside here so I can put my equipment down in here I hunt with a crossbow uh, the public land that I have is the only it's the only thing you hunt with uh, is crossbow and so I've got a, a crossbow to put on here I've got a backpack uh, anything else so now the next video I'm going to show you how uh, I attach this to the bike and if we're going to get this thing going hey we got about a month until bow season starts I've already got me a couple places uh, lined up on that public land way back in the woods I'm going to take me a couple trips and go back in there and uh, set me up some places and then and first day of bow season I'm gonna have this dude out there early be able to ride way back in the woods get set up you know far away from everybody else and hopefully uh, be able to put some game on this thing take it back home so anyway appreciate you watching um, keep looking for the video where I I make the uh, uh, the tra basically like a trailer hitch type setup to put this thing to the bike where I can haul it down the trail. Appreciate you watching.